I know you guys prefer if I make some more anti-feminist wank material. I'm only doing this during my free time. So I apologize if this is not exactly what you expect. But you know, you guys love it when I make some anti-feminist stuff. So here's some more anti-feminist wank material. Mmm, yeah. When talking to boys about sexism and misogyny, they deny that the problems that I'm identifying even exist. <clears throat> you are white. You are female. You're living under a roof. You are not disabled in any way. The eyesight doesn't count because um, you're wearing glasses. You know, I, I, I doubt those are real glasses. I mean, they're probably hipster glasses for all we know. But... Assuming that there aren't hipster glasses, they're, they're, they're actually prescription glasses that you can't see very well. Um, you're still pretty goddamn privileged. So I doubt that you actually have any problems whatsoever. In fact, I'm goddamn convinced that the issues that you're talking about are just first world problems. You know, issues like being triggered over something stupid <laughs> and of course there's the wage gap what I don't understand is a why boys think that they get to decide what hurts girls and women you get to sp you you are a big fat hypocrite okay because you feminists complain about this stuff yet you feminists do this all the time with 50% of the population thinking that you know what's best for women. You think that, you know, uh, women shouldn't be catcalled when there are women who do enjoy being catcalled. That you, you don't want women to be catcalled at all. So you try to ban catcalling. You think you know what's best for women. But in reality, you're only doing this for yourself. And B, how we can fix a problem if we deny that it even exists. Well, that's simple. It depends on the problem. If the problem is absolutely stupid, that all it is is just you whining and bitching and moaning, then we can say, yes, we deny that you have a problem. Because, you know, this is a problem for women. Because all it is is just you bitching and moaning. I understand that you have a voice, but it's really important to use that voice to support women. So in other words, we should never use our voice to use against you because what you say is automatically right. It cannot be questioned. It cannot be challenged because what you believe is automatically right. Rather than to deny that they're even being oppressed. Well, again, if your problems is first world problems, then I say you're not oppressed. If anything, you're more privileged than the rest of us. This may be a situation in which patriarchal values are so ingrained in the minds of boys that they feel the need to control and dominate any situation in which women's issues and women's rights are being discussed. Oh, is that that you say? Yet, ironically, feminists have issues with MRAs talking about men's rights. You know, I'm not an MRA. But hell, I am a lot more sympathetic towards the MRAs because of the actions of the feminists. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Or it could be that they believe that by acknowledging a problem exists, it will then be solved. Then maybe you just start ranting on YouTube and actually do something productive. You're not spreading a message on YouTube. You know, you're not doing anything big. You're just another ranter on YouTube. Hell, I, I, I'm more popular than you. In fact, by the time I'm done, you know, I'm going to end up giving you more views than ever. I'm going to end up making you slightly more popular, but not that much. And then that they believe, to quote Alex Copeland and Jensen McRae's poem, Trumpets, that, quote, as soon as the doors get wider for the other, they assume that they are closing for them, unquote. When in reality, that's kind of the opposite of equality. When I talk about sexism and misogyny, I do so to identify issues to fix. Take the red pill. Take the red pill. 
so that groups of people don't have to be seen as unequal anymore. So you know, you think you know what's right for everyone. Gotcha. Feminist goals aren't to have women reign over men or anything along those lines. Hey, I made a shit ton of videos. Like, even before I was the atheist gamer. Like, I had to make a shit ton of accounts. Before I was a ranter, I used to be a YouTube pooper. You know, just make random videos. But you know what? I, I wanted to actually, you know, make money out of YouTube. You know, get a good hobby. You know, so, you know what? I, I wanted to rant. And I've been on YouTube ranting for about four years. Within four years, i seen the actions of feminists. What you say is meaningless to me. Feminist goals involve establishing equality as a reality instead of just a possibility. Newsflash, denying that the wage gap exists doesn't make that issue automatically vanish. Saying that women aren't oppressed doesn't stop women from being murdered in brutal acts of misogynistic hatred. Stating that women have just as many rights as men do doesn't magically change bills or laws that hurt women. Instead of denying that there is a problem, why not help by trying to fix it?